Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. In this tutorial video, we will talk about simulation of a discharging capacitor using Simulink in MATLAB. Open MATLAB. In MATLAB, open Simulink. And then create a new model. And for simulation of a capacitor, first we need a capacitor. And then take a register. And we need a reference. Okay. Let's have a zoomed look of it. Okay. I hope this is visible. Uh, let's connect them together. Uh, because it is a discharging simulation, so we are not gonna to add uh, any source here. Uh, we are assuming capture is fully charged and then it is discharging through the resistance. Now we will be needing a solver. So we need a solver configuration as we discussed for simulation of this uh, real world problems we need a solver configuration then we need uh, one more sensor that is voltage sensor type voltage sensor in the search space of Simulink browser voltage sensor is used to uh, uh, sense the voltage across the capacitor and let's flip it and rotate to clockwise direction so this one now we will attach a simulink converter which converts this uh, real world type uh, signal to the simula simulation signal and at the output of this we will connect our scope in order to get uh, the voltage waveform across the capsule okay, so let's suppose we also want uh, a current uh, or waveform of current flowing through the circuit so we will need a current sensor as well We'll be having okay, there is a current sensor and we will flop and again we need one more PS converter. And its output should be going to the scope. Let's change the axis. Uh, let's see. We don't have right now properties of it. Uh, let's do go to settings and number of axis. Make it two. Apply and then OK. Now the second one will connect to the current configuration. So first axis will be showing uh, our uh, voltage waveform and the second uh, showing will be showing our current waveform. Let's take the resistance. Okay, let's take it uh, 1 mega ohm or if uh, 1 mega ohm resistance is there so current amount will be in micro ampere so we need to take care of that as well. And let's say it back. go to variables part and check this capacitor voltage and at the starting make it pi and then apply and then okay so now let's simulate it 
yes voltage waveform is there but uh, we are not uh, able to see any changes in the current that is because uh, a micro ampere current is flowing through the circuit and because the resistance was 1 mega ohm and this scales is up to oh, 5 volts so we need to change this access properties so minus 0 0.1234 apply and then okay so it's going uh, okay so this is the current in 10 to the minus 5 so it is around 45 micro ampere current is flowing through the circuit and the direction is negative because ultimately it is in flowing in opposite direction uh, of the current sensor polarity and it is also reducing as the uh, capture is discharging through the heat built up across the resistance or it is uh, dissipating the power through the resistance in term in in the form of heat so its voltage is keeps on decreasing across the plates of capture and as the voltage keeps on decreasing so the current is also decreasing so this is the battery simulations uh, simulation of discharging of a capacitor and if you remember the equations of discharging of capture those are the exponentially decreasing waveform and these graphs are validating those results so i hope you have understand how to simulate a discharging capacitor through a simulink in matlab so that's it for this video thank you